Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here, welcome back to another counter side video. So there's plenty of new things in the current skin shop. Alright, as you can see, we have plenty uh, including Chifuyu skin. Wow, very good. She can chop off the watermelon. And we have Yomina alongside with Elizabeth. Alright, hers is a little bit cheaper. Adele's one is surprisingly quite cheap. And for it to be so cheap, I actually am happy for that. Same goes for Lee Jisoo's one. Uh, theirs is slightly on the cheaper side, which is at 1.6k. And the two quartz one are going to be Steel Leaf Island and Chinatsu. So yeah, plenty of vacation skins right here, right now. If you guys are interested, you know, snack them because they'll be available for two more weeks. You know, you can still decide if you're interested in them. They might have a rerun in the future. All right, let's talk about the current event. All right, the stage two of the vacation event. It's going to be pretty straightforward this time around. I've already made a investigation uh, looking at all of them. So as you can see, this is 2-3 heart. This is the rewards you get. 2-2 uh, heart, you get 23 dolphins. 2-1 heart, you get 18 dolphins. So I've made the calculation right here. So if you guys are interested, all right. So basically farming the last stage is going to give you an advantage. You're going to get more of everything. As you can see, 18 to 23, 32 in terms of the gold is quite proportionate as well. Even though you're spending more Eternium, farming the last stage, you're consuming less Eternium. 2-3 and 2-2, that's actually not much of a difference. Like, I hope all of you are able to do 2-3, but if you can't, maybe consider doing 2-2 because there's not much difference. That's only if you're new, right? As you can see right here, in terms of the return, for the Eternium per Dolphin, 20.3, 21.7. Alright, it's not that high of a difference. In terms of gold though, uh, you're going to get more gold per Eternium if you're farming at 2-3, which is highly recommended. Now, the thing that interests me more is going to be the event shop itself. Because if you look at the event shop right here, as you can see in the Dolphin Beach stall, there's a couple of things that you should be prioritizing. I would say prioritize the Fusion Cores, the Employment Contract, three of these, and also the ship comp coupon. These three are very important. The background will depend on you. If you are someone that likes background or loves collecting stuff, then sure, get this. But it's not of the high priority if you care about, you know, like meta stuff, powering up your characters, etc. Now in terms of Leaf Island and Ares, as you can see right now, we have a chance and option to obtain them. Just so you guys know, you can also farm their shards right here, right? If you guys are not familiar, in the supply operation, Right here, as you can see, you can always farm Aries shards and you can always farm Leaf Island shards, right? They are always available right here. Now, is it worth it to buy from the shop? The answer is yes. This is what I obtained from Leaf Island shop earlier, just from one run. 520 Eternium is going to give you one of her shot right here. Obviously, you're going to get a few other bonus things. But if you go to the event, right, if you farm this particular stage right here, the last one, 2-3 heart, this will give you 32 dolphins. Alright, 32 dolphins will be able to purchase 3 of her shots right here. Alright, 30 dolphins. So even though it's 150 Eternium, but you're still getting a times 3 right there. So definitely, I would say this is more worth it. Obviously, if you farm at the regular stages, there's a chance to get like the main character itself, the full character, but the chance is very low. I wouldn't gamble on that. So yeah, I would say try and get as much uh, Leaf Allen and Aerials as you can so that you guys can get them up to 110. They are both pretty good actually. Leaf Island is buffed this week, so definitely that's an advantage if you're trying to 110 her for sure, right? And also same goes for Aerius. She's good in PvE, some of the danger close stages if you don't have Claudia or Evelyn. She's definitely worth it to build. So yeah, overall, new banners are here as well. Uh, confirmation of the Janus banner right here, right? Just to let you guys know what's happening. Janus is here, and also we have the Rosara apparently is in her own banner, so I was wrong about that. I thought Rosara is going to share a banner with Chifuyu and Chinatsu. Apparently, they are all having their separate banner. Now, this is going to bring back another topic of discussion. Maybe I'll do an update video of Rosara versus Janus. If you do not own any of them, which is better? But for that, I'll need to pull on Janus first. Stay tuned for that. I'm going to live stream shortly. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like. Have a nice day. And goodbye.